Good afternoon, First Lutheran Cincy and Philippus UCC Church. Uh, Pastoral intern Tyler here with you today for midweek prayer. Um, it's a bit of a dreary day outside, and so I hope everybody's uh, able to be safe and warm. We're supposed to have a pretty, a pretty nasty winter storm come through, and so um, just be on the lookout, be safe, care for one another. Um, that's especially important right now <laughs> as we don't really know what the next couple of days are going to look like and travel is supposed to be particularly bad. So um, hoping that everybody is safe, hoping that everybody's uh, prepared for uh, for the, the storm that's coming through. That said, um, I want to share a little bit uh, about what's going on in my life and uh, my prep for this week. So I will not be with, with you all this Sunday. Uh, I'm going to be uh, doing some pulpit supply in Gloria Day, uh, Cincinnati. So a bit of a different church and uh, going to be preparing a sermon there. And so some of the things that I'm working on this week um, in, pre- in preparation for the sermon, the, the, the sermon text for this coming week, this coming Sunday, is uh, the miraculous catch of fish. So Jesus is uh, at the Sea of Galilee and he's... Uh, preaching to the people there, he comes into uh, into contact with Peter and James and John, who are all fishermen. Uh, they're all they they spent the night on uh, on the lake trying to catch fish and didn't catch anything. And then uh, Jesus tells them to go out onto the lake, let their nets down again. Uh, after they've spent all night on the lake, they're probably tired and dirty and hungry. And they catch a miraculous catch of fish. There's so many fish that the nets start to break and the boats start to sink. And there's a little bit of panic at the, the amount of abundance that, that God is providing. And so I wonder a little bit about, uh, we've talked about abundance before, about the abundance of God and the, uh, the, the gifts that God gives to us, uh, whether it be in uh, meeting our daily needs or uh, in ways that allow us to live in community with one another even better. Right now, I'm also taking a class on uh, race and Protestantism in the United States, which is a really interesting and eye-opening, uh, eye-opening class. We're talking a lot about what it means to be community. Uh, and I think that this passage illustrates a little bit of that. This, this passage uh, views, Jesus views Peter, James, and John as being the experts, uh, the expert fishermen in, their, in his community. They're the people that go out and row the boats and catch the fish, and they know what they're doing. And they use those gifts to help one another and to, to serve one another. And in the same way, at the end of that story, uh, they choose to follow Jesus. Jesus asks them, asks them to become his disciples and to share uh, the good news, the gospel with uh, with everybody that they come in, into contact with, uh, in a way, using that theme of being uh, of catching people um, as a way of sharing the gospel. Now that term has been misused in many ways. Uh, we might think catching people is related to knocking on doors and proselytizing and asking people to accept Jesus as their Lord and Savior, um, but I don't think that's necessarily what it is. I think. Sharing the gospel or sharing the good news or fishing for people is sharing the love of God without expectation that somebody is going to uh, somebody's going to repay you. Somebody's going to to honor you in a way that um, in a way that you're expecting. Uh, that even somebody might come to faith. That's all God's doing. That's not our doing. Our doing is just to share, just to love, just to share, just to build community with one another. And I think that's what. Uh, this passage is is about, is recognizing the gifts that we all bring, uh, the ordinary gifts that you and me as normal people uh, bring to the table, bring to to the kingdom of God, and the ways in which God honors that and calls that into uh, into action, into participation with God. So just a couple things I'm thinking this week, not a particularly long or well thought out, um, well thought out you know, uh, message this, this week, this midweek, but I'm, I'm happy to share this time with you and happy to, happy to be with you. Well, with that, let's go ahead and go to God in prayer. Will you join me? Good and gracious God, we thank you for this day. We thank you for, 
the gifts that you give us. We thank you that you bless us with all the necessities of daily life, but also with uh, the unique gifts and humanity that we all possess. Remind us of your image in all of our neighbors and help us to share your love with one another on our daily walks in life. Keep us safe this week as we are preparing to endure a uh, a winter storm. Um, Please help everybody who, uh, please keep everybody safe, keep everybody warm. Make sure that, please work to make sure that um, people have a place to go in the middle of this time and uh, to give us the courage to to help those in need and to listen to those who are uh, lamenting at this time. In your holy and precious name we pray. Amen. Thank you so much for joining me this afternoon. So glad to share this time with you. Uh, and I hope that you have a safe weekend. Don't, uh, don't do anything too reckless. Uh, make sure that you are, uh, you're safe from the storm. So with that, go in peace, share the love of God. Thanks be to God.